Hey everybody, this is Adam from RealHomeRecording.com. In this video, I will discuss dither. Dither is essentially noise that is added to your audio signal to retain quality after you truncate word length. <laughs> if I just confuse the hell out of you, let me explain. Um, typically, when you record audio, you'll do it at 24-bit, which is higher than... CD quality 16 bit. If you reduce 24 bit down to 16 and don't dither, you may have issues with audio quality, especially at lower levels and especially with uh, reverb tails. It's typically um, heard as well as um, I don't know. It's just it's just kind of weird. If like if you turn your volume up, you'll you'll really hear it. So 24 bit dithering down to 16-bit is essential and not only is it essential it actually can increase perceived bit depth or word length up to I think like 20 bits or 21 bits it's actually it's actually pretty cool so when do you dither dithering should be the final step in your audio processing if you're doing your own mastering this will be the very last step you do. If you're not doing your own mastering, do not dither. Send your 32-bit floating point file or 24-bit file to the mastering house. Don't dither down to 16-bit. They'll, they'll actually probably tell you this, but if they don't, you know, 32-bit, 64-bit floating point if they support it. Um, but otherwise, do not dither. Let them dither on their end, They'll, they know what they're doing. If you're doing your own mastering though, this is what you do. So here's my master track. I have all my processing on it. The very last thing I have on is brick wall limiting. But you'll notice that I have dithering off. This is important because dither is the very last thing I want to do after sample rate conversion. So this is under Reaper, I go to file, render and I'll choose extreme sample rate conversion I'm gonna keep my file at 64 bit floating point just to maintain quality and then I'll hit render after this is done I'm going to drop my 64 bit floating point file back into Reaper and I'm gonna put ozone on my master FX channel and I'm going to choose mbit plus for my dither type and 16-bit I'm gonna choose either high or ultra for noise shaping and then dithering amount of normal and sometimes I'll choose the options down here and then I'll also have the brick wall limiter on yet again set to negative 0.2 for a CD for the record mbit plus in a blind study was voted as the best dithering algorithm by people who basically just listen to test files um, I'm going to put the website up on the screen right now to show you Mbit was called something else at the time and Isotope bought the guy's code and then uh, I think they added to it or just kept it the same regardless it's a very sweet sounding musical dithering type and I use it for everything even if it's not music I'll use it because I know it works so after you have all these options selected you choose render and um, go down to 16-bit and your file will already be 441 sampling rate and make sure your noise shaping is off in Reaper or in your own doll there might be options for this keep it off because you're already dithering with an ozone and that's it that's the last step now let me say this important note dithering is the least of your worries if your mix sounds bad dithering is not going to improve it but if you're after audiophile top-notch sounding quality and you don't want to lose any information from your 24-bit file or if you want to basically it's the least co amount of compromise in audio quality Mbit plus I think is great 
R8 Brain by Voxengo is also really good, as well as Waves IDR. Any of those three are good sounding dither types, and they'll get you where you need to be. This has been Adam from RealHomeRecording.com. I'll see you in the next video.